Hey, I'm Tanner, and these are my brothers Pat and Dan. In the water, we're pro surfers, but every moment in between, we're on a mission to explore the world, and we want to take you along for the ride. Next on the list, Northern Spain, the Basque Country. Here is our Basque travel kit. A few key items for the trip to Northern Spain. Melatonin and a sleeping mask, so you will sleep well regardless of the conditions. A power adapter, which is always a must, solid headphones for tunes, and a Canon Super 8 to document the trip. Some chia seeds, which are a great source of antioxidants and omega-3s. And in case of injury, one band-aid. It's the middle of summer, and Spain is welcoming us with open arms. The northern part of Spain is home to the Basque Country, and it is a world onto itself. Bordered by the Pyrenees Mountains and the Atlantic coast, this area serves up insane scenery, surf, food, and drink. When you land in Bilbao, rent a car and stick to the coast. You'll save money on tolls and maximize the vibe. Mundaka, Lequitio, and Zrauts are all well worth a look as you head east towards San Sebastian. Honestly, the summer in Europe is, is like throwing the dice. It's like you could pack board shorts and a tank top for yeah. One day, and then the next day you're in like jeans with a rain jacket. Well, it certainly is a beautiful day here in Bilbao. The sun is just blazing. We're gonna go down, check out the architecture, check out the Guggenheim. Let's get it done, boys. Let's get it on. Yeah, brother. If you're into design and architecture, even a little bit, Bilbao is definitely worth a stop. Grab an affordable room by the Nervion River, like the Hesperia, shake off the jet lag, and have a look. Take the Zubizuri across the river. Zubizuri means white bridge in Basque. One of a couple rad bridges, the Zubizuri was designed by Santiago Calatrava, who has completed insane projects all over the world, including the new transportation hub at the World Trade Center site in New York. Originally an industrial city, Bilbao has reinvented itself as an architectural hub and the Frank Gehry design Guggenheim is definitely the crown jewel. As you walk under the La Salve Bridge, there are multiple sculptures and murals to check out. The giant spider called Maman by Louise Bourgeois and out front is the flower dog called Puppy by Jeff Koons. You dog. Sick boys, we saw it, checked out the dog, Guggenheim. Yeah, it was. This city's insane. But it's blazing, guys. It's got to be 45 <laughs> degrees Celsius. Yeah. I'm dying to get in the water. Let's, Let's get out of here. Let's right. go. It's on. Bang, bang. Got to pay to play. So make sure you come out of the airport. Make sure you got some cash on you because you will guarantee hit a toll. If you're driving, if you're in a taxi, whatever. Cash. Chang, chang, baby. Cash rules everything <laughs> around the money. Dead presidents, yo. After paying a few tolls, we're off to meet up with two Basque locals and friends, Keppa and Adur. Dude, seriously, I think Adur's just gonna get us right on the schedule. Like, he's just gonna plug us right in to what it would be like if we lived with him in Zerats. I'm from Zaraoz in the Basque Country and I work for Kukas. Summertime and wintertime is completely different. In summertime you have all these people, a lot of movement, and in wintertime it's a very mellow family village, no? It's completely different, we're always, always fun. It's just a beautiful place too, I mean we've got Lots of sand and lots of rain, so it makes all this mountain look super green and, and then the waves are super fun. And also has very good food, very good wine too, so me, I'm, I'm very proud of this place. <laughs> Started by Adur's mom and dad, the Puka Surf School was the first in the area and has a huge impact on surf culture in the Basque Country. One of the big things that we do here at Pucas is teaching everybody how to surf. That's the basic. So that's why we got the surfing schools here in Tarab and San Sebastian. But it's a place where everybody has a lot of fun. Zerouts can be a pretty fun beach break. 
but there are also a ton of different spots along the coast that can be insane if the conditions are right. You only drive an hour to the west and you can be in Bilbao or even Sur Mundaka. I love Mundaka. Eh? I, Mundaka is the, my favorite place and the heart is always in Mundaka when it's working. <laughs> if the winds roll, you go to the, to the east and you will be scoring pretty good Hossego or France. Up to September, you have these big swells coming and you have the south wind and the, your heart goes like boom boom and it goes like it's amazing the wave, as, as good as it gets. <laughs> You can't always time the swell right. But don't get bummed. Rather than wishing for the impossible, grab a couple foamies from the rental shop and remind yourself why you started surfing in the first place. The relationship with the ocean here in the Basque Country is super strong because obviously we've got all these little villages from, made out of fishermen. The Basque people's connection to the sea goes back more than a thousand years. We wanted to learn a little bit more about the history of these coastal towns, so Adur took us to meet a legit Basque fisherman from Guitaria. Bueno, Iñaki naiz, Arantzalia. Getaiarra... Beti, beti da nik itxasuan arantzalia, gurasua gara arantzalia, garri guzti jaizan da beti arantzalia, eh? Fish handia, fish handia. <laughs> ba, e, getaria esan da beti arantza, arantzalia, orduan gurasuak ere bai, go estudiatu ez gino nahi egin, eta orduan, ba, bueno, baina guztora, guztora. So, I was curious, like, how long is a normal trip out on the boats? This fisherman was a hundred percent Basque and didn't speak English or even Spanish, so Adir translated for us. He usually goes out like for like 15, 20 days, and what he does, um, they could actually be out there for a month and a half as well. And um, what they do instead of coming back again to Getaria, which is right next to Taraf, they would maybe stop at, in the northwest tip of Spain, maybe sell some of the fish, and then they can come again. Ba, orixen, Euskalduna esatia, joe, arro, arro beti dani guri eskuntza Euskera esan da, naiko lan ematen diu, baina saiatzen gea, eta hori, gaitik arrantzal esatia, eta Euskaldun gaur egunian gutxi da bet, Ondo, gustora kosta egiten da, baina arro arro teko motiva da, bai, bai. It was amazing getting to talk to Inyaki. He had a great vibe and really gave us a glance inside traditional Basque life on the sea. His pride and passion is typical of Basque people, and is super inspiring. But now we're off to cruise with Adur, who has something special lined up for us tonight at a local Sociedad. The Basque Sociedad is insane. It's a members-only club where friends and family gather to cook, eat, and drink. My name is Manu, and welcome to Gureka Villa. We are in a Basque cooking club, it's called Sociedad. Manu is a great host, serving up giant steaks, glasses of gazpacho, and introducing us to walnut cracking. Basque style, baby. La sociedad es un club tradicional donde la acción se pasa a través de generaciones familiares. Perfecto. That flavor combination is like smooth, fiery, like salty. It's fresh. Oh, it's phenomenal. Thanks again for coming here. I enjoy every time you come here to Spain, to the Basque region, to Farao. Hope you come again and go for California, San Clemente.
With our bellies stuffed, we headed over to the Puka's annual beach party. It was awesome getting to cut loose with the crew at the once a year shindig. Well, the beat up in Aloha Street from the Basque Country, like everyone, you're always welcome. We embrace you. Hi, <laughs> Sunny. Cheers. Cheers up. Up next, we head to San Sebastian to check out the surf, eat pinchos, and bask in some history. This is Down Days.